Hi everyone, this is Kathy Groskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today I'm going to be creating a new QuickBooks desktop file from a company file that's already in existence. Now we're going to be using the Sample Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply company file as our basis for this new file. Now being that we're using a company file sample file to do this, there's no telling how this is going to work out but we're going to do what we can but at any rate we're going to go over here to the file menu and then we're going to go ahead and click on new company from existing company file and when we do that what happens is a little box will open up and basically it seems pretty straightforward you're going to select a company to copy from and basically what's going to happen is that this new company file is going to copy the preferences and key lists like the chart of accounts from an existing company file. So one of my first suggestions before you even do this is to make sure that the company file that you're going to duplicate all this from is as clean as can be. In other words, you want to make sure your chart of accounts is clean. You want to make sure that all the lists that you want to import into this file is clean. So you want to make sure you do all that. Now, what I see that this could be beneficial is if you are in a niche industry and you work with the same types of clients. So that way you're going to have similar chart of accounts for those similar clients that you're working with. So this would be a good way to do that without having to involve a bunch of third party apps possibly. So anyway, it's defaulting right now to the sample company file and we can actually browse and go to one of these other files that we may have if we wanted to. So like if we wanted to go into a company file and use one of the other files that I have in my that I work with we could do that but let's just go ahead and cancel that out and just use this sample company file as a default and then we're going to enter a name for the new company so let's go ahead and call this demo landscaping company file there we go and i'm going to go ahead and create click on create company and see what happens next okay so what happens next it Kind of puts that in the sample company file if you wanted to or you can find where you wanted that to go so i'm gonna go ahead and go under quickbooks actually i'm gonna go ahead and go up and go under company files here and we're just going to go ahead and call this demo landscape company file let me go ahead and append that i guess i can do that while i'm in here to do 2022 because we're actually doing it in 2022 i like to do that so like if I upgrade a file or something like that, then I would want to put that on, on there. So that way I'll know that that is a 2022 uh, QuickBooks company file. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And so first it's going to go, it looks like through verification of the data integrity. And so now that we're doing that... Okay, so now it's creating the new company file. And now it's importing the data into the new company file. All right, so it looks like that QuickBooks has successfully created our new company file and the original file is unchanged. So let's see what we have here in regards to what is going on. So let's just look at the chart of accounts here and it looks like it's created the chart of accounts that's in here. All right, let's also look at the vendors. And it looks like it's entered the one vendor that we have already in here. Let's see about the customers. And we didn't have any customers already in here. So there was none entered. Basically, it, it looks like just having the chart of accounts set up the way that it needs to be set up is probably advantageous to do that. I can see where this could come in handy. Oh, let me also check one more thing. I'm going to go into lists and look at the 
items list, and there we go. It, it brings in the items list fine. All those are set up, so that would be another reason to do this. Okay, so I think that I'll go ahead and end this here. So anyway, I hope that this might help you today. Well, I would be interested to see in the comments what you all come up with as some advantages and disadvantages to this and what you would rather see done. But if you didn't want to use any third-party apps and just needed like the chart of accounts and things like that to be right, hopefully, again, hopefully this will help you today. Y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all take care and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.